Louis de Broglie was a French physicist born into an aristocratic family in 1892. He had a deep interest in the mysteries of the universe. In 1924, he proposed a groundbreaking idea that would forever change the landscape of physics. He suggested that particles such as electrons could also exhibit wave-like behavior, a concept that was revolutionary at the time. This groundbreaking idea is known as wave-particle duality a term that has since become fundamental in quantum mechanics. It was a radical concept that challenged the very foundation of classical physics, which had long separated waves and particles into distinct categories. Before de Broglie's hypothesis, scientists predominantly thought of light as a wave and matter as particles. Light waves were known to bend, interfere, and create patterns, behaviors typical of waves. On the other hand, Particles were considered to be tiny, solid balls of matter, each with a definite position and momentum. De Broglie suggested that these two seemingly separate worlds were not so different after all. His revolutionary idea was inspired by Einstein's work on the photoelectric effect, which showed that light could behave like particles called photons. Einstein's discovery that light could act as both a wave and a particle laid the groundwork for de Broglie's theory. De Broglie took this concept and flipped it on its head, proposing that particles could also exhibit wave-like properties. This bold idea opened up new avenues of research and led to the development of quantum mechanics, fundamentally altering our understanding of the universe. Imagine a beam of light, it's something we encounter every day, yet its nature is profoundly mysterious. We know it can act like a wave, diffracting and interfering, creating beautiful patterns that reveal its wave-like properties. In the early 20th century, a brilliant scientist named Louis de Broglie proposed a revolutionary idea. He suggested that not just light, but even a stream of electrons could exhibit similar wave-like behavior. Each electron, he proposed, has a wave associated with it, a concept that was both groundbreaking and perplexing. This wave doesn't mean the electron is spread out like a mist, instead, it's a probability wave, a mathematical function that describes the likelihood of finding the electron in various locations. The wave's size or amplitude tells us the likelihood of finding the electron in a particular place. The larger the wave, the higher the probability. Where the wave is big, the electron is more likely to be found. This was a radical departure from the classical idea of particles having definite positions. This concept is hard to visualize even for the greatest minds of the time. It's like trying to imagine an apple behaving like a ripple on a pond. But mathematically it worked, and it opened up new ways of understanding the quantum world. De Broglie's theory helped explain some of the strange behavior observed in the quantum world, laying the groundwork for future discoveries in quantum mechanics. De Broglie's theory was met with skepticism. It was a radical departure from classical physics. Many scientists struggled to accept that particles could be both waves and particles. It seemed counterintuitive. However, experimental evidence soon emerged to support de Broglie's hypothesis. In 1927, Clinton Davison and Lester Germer observed electron diffraction. They found that electrons, when fired at a crystal, created patterns similar to those made by X-rays. This experiment and others like it confirmed that particles could indeed exhibit wave-like behavior. The scientific community began to embrace the strange world of quantum mechanics with de Broglie's wave-particle duality at its heart. Section 4, Doubts and Uncertainties. Despite the success of his theory, de Broglie himself was never entirely comfortable with all its implications. He struggled with the probabilistic nature of quantum mechanics. He disliked the idea that we could only predict the likelihood of an electron's position, not its exact location. He also grappled with the Copenhagen interpretation of quantum mechanics. This interpretation, championed by Niels Bohr and Werner Heisenberg, proposed that particles didn't have definite properties until they were measured. De Broglie found this idea unsettling. He preferred a more deterministic view of the universe. Section 5 legacy of a reluctant revolutionary. Due to these philosophical conflicts, de Broglie gradually distanced himself from quantum mechanics. He found himself at odds with the mainstream interpretations of the time, which led him to seek solace in other areas of physics. He focused on other areas of physics, delving into fields that allowed him to explore his ideas without the constraints of prevailing quantum theories. However, his contributions to quantum theory remained significant. His early work continued to influence the field, 
even as he pursued different scientific endeavors. De Broglie's work laid the foundation for wave mechanics, a crucial aspect of quantum theory that has had lasting impacts on our understanding of the physical world. It's a powerful tool for understanding the behavior of matter at the atomic and subatomic levels. This framework has enabled scientists to make groundbreaking discoveries in various fields of physics. His concept of wave-particle duality revolutionized our understanding of the universe. This duality is now a fundamental principle in quantum mechanics, shaping how we perceive the nature of light and matter. In 1929, de Broglie was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics for his groundbreaking work. This accolade recognized the profound impact of his theories on the scientific community. It was a testament to the enduring legacy of a scientist who dared to challenge the established order and unveiled a universe far stranger and more wondrous than anyone had imagined. His work continues to inspire new generations of physicists and remains a cornerstone of modern science.